Time to make the presentation for the uh, Kent player of the match, courtesy of Fitzgerald Jewellers. After this victory against Gloucestershire in the T20 Blast this evening, four wickets for this man, Adam Riley, and he is the man of the match. So congratulations, well bowled. Two from two in the competition. I know it's a long way to go in this uh, Natwest T20 Blast yet, but happy days. Happy days, definitely, yeah. It's uh, definitely going to be a long way to go. Plenty more Friday nights like this, hopefully. Um, but yeah, all we can do is keep winning on a Friday night and see where it takes you, so uh, you never know. What was the feeling at half time, 1 3 6? Because, I mean, from over there, for all the experts, of course, it did look a tricky pitch to score on. Yeah, that was the consensus as well. Um, the bats were coming down a bit of the slow side, and that in the middle periods, if bowlers bowled straight at the top of off, it would be difficult to score. So we knew that you know, 1 30 was probably the target, and then we got to 1 3 6 on it, hitting at the end. We knew that we were there or thereabouts with the, the bowling attack that we had. You know, we knew we'd defend it, and you know, I think that we did. Now, when Smith was batting, most of the bats were got starts, um, but wickets kept falling at regular intervals, kept checking that scoring rate. I mean, that's the nature of the wicket, though, that you know, bats were going to get scores, and then once they start pushing on, that's when it was either going to be, you know, they were going to get out or they were going to go on. And you know, Blakey managed to get a, get a few away. You know, people like Sammy caught the boundary, Keys caught the boundary. You know, not far off hitting for six, but you know, the nature of the wicket meant that we had to keep trying to score. And that made burning some wickets at some stage. I should think, coach. I think Jimmy's very happy, isn't he? But the performance in the field, I don't think hardly anything got through there. And the catch was really, really good. No, uh, Steve's catch again was right. fantastic. That one, that was one that I've kept ever seen. I think. Um, no, Jimmy. Jimmy loves winning, whether it's winning ugly or, or winning, you know, with good performances. And you know, tonight was a good performance in the field, like you say. And you know, whilst batting was a bit tricky, probably due to the pitch. Um, you know, Jimmy's delighted, and we're all delighted. How do you fancy the challenge in the T20? Obviously, you fancy it a lot tonight. But many people are talking about how much they enjoy watching you bowl in four day cricket, but this is a totally different proposition. It is a different proposition, it's a bit more pressure off as well I guess, because I think Keezy says that the bowlers are there to be whacked and the batters are there to whack it, so um, some days you have days out and you get a few wickets, other days you know, I've had days where I've gone around the park as well, so um, I'll just please look at some wickets today because I don't usually get wickets in 2020, so just enjoy my day. Well four of them tonight, four, and that means that according to your votes, and thank you for those, Adam Riley is the Fitzgerald Jewellers Man of the Match after Kent beat Gloucestershire and make it 2 for Get in. Get in, guys.